Donna McElvaney here again. Once again, we're going to be talking about elastics. So I had made a video, I posted it um, not long ago, about sewing elastic and how to keep it uh, from fraying and stuff because right now there's a shortage of elastic. So I showed how you can cut um, a one inch, cut it down, and then sew it. But I've discovered an easier way of doing that. Um, I still had some issues with some of them whenever they were cut real thin that they would still fray out. Sorry about my camera here. It's My phone is uh, it's going to be bobbing a little bit. So what I decided to do is to sew it first, zigzag it first, um, and then cut it. So it makes it so much easier to do. Um, so you have to really line it up here really well knowing your sewing machine where your zigzag is because I've already done one edge of it so I'm just going to put it in here and do it real quick um, I have mine on the zigzag setting on the smallest setting that mine goes it probably goes a little bit smaller but that is probably wide enough so this is the smallest setting and whenever you go to cut it you want to make sure that you don't cut where you sewn alright so I'm just going to demo it just a little bit here all right, like I said, my uh, camera system is set up and maybe a little bit difficult for me here, but we're gonna make it work. All right, I'm almost doing it one-handed again. It's a little difficult, we're gonna manage it here. It's hard to set up my hands-free system on my sewing table, I tried. Alright, so you want to get it right there on the edge. And you want to sew in a straight line. So I'm going to go quite a bit faster here. Let's see here. And just sew it down in a nice straight line. On the edge. All the way down, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and stop since I've already done it. Alrighty, sorry guys. A little difficult for me here. I'm gonna make it work though. All right, so you can see I already have this side sewn. And then I'm going to cut right along this groove right here so that this here stays intact. I'm gonna do the same over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I think the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and to cut it each row as I make it. That way there, um, if you have any issues with keeping nice and super straight, then you won't sway over into your line that you already sewn. Because that can cause issues whenever you go to cut it. So, sew one row, go ahead and cut it. And then sew the next row, go ahead and cut it. Whenever you get down to the smaller parts, you might want to, um, so a few rows, maybe two or three in here, or just this one here, maybe just two. And that way there you can cut in between the two. Um, so you can get several out of a one inch strip of elastic, one inch wide. All right guys, thanks.